This is the Bobcad V24. We'll do a basic V carving. Um, going through um, setups on Bobcad. First of all, if we want to do a little rectangle, we're going to do a sign. If we want to create a rectangle here to make the outside of the sign, we're going to put in the X, our X axis. You see the red line here, down here tells us the X axis. Let's make that, let's go the sign about 10 inches long and about 4 inches tall. We're going to put the bottom left, this right here is going to be the bottom left corner. We click OK. See how we've got a, red, a blue line corner kind of going off our screen here. So let's hit this fit all screen. And this is just going to start off with, this is going to be our sign, our rectangle sign that we're going to do. Let's go up to our text here. Computer's going a little slow tonight. We're going to pick our fonts. If you put fonts into your Windows folder of the computer you're um, working on, this window fonts will pop up here. One that I've put, and I give you on the um, disk that come with your digital wood carver, is this monotype Carvinza. Uh, I like it uh, personally, but um, let's just. Uh, Welcome to our family. Just type in what text you want. We're going to pick our height. You can also click bold or italics. Uh, let's start off with one and a quarter. Vectorize it. It's going to make it a line or segment lines instead of all one piece. Let's see if I spelt that all right. Okay. See how it's obviously too big for our sign? Let's go over and you can do these in more than one segment. Get it centered there. If you want to move them independently, a couple things you can do. We could have done welcome to in one line come back uh, digital woodcarver um, family in another line but um, if we want to move it now we can do translate this in the delta mode will allow me to put in what numbers and how far I want to move it or drag will allow me to move it all over the place you can scale it and copy from this translate too we're going to take this welcome here right click OK and we're just going to move the X over about eighth inch. And then we, if we just keep clicking on it, it will keep going over till we got it centered. Okay, that's good there. We're going to hit the family uh, cam tree. Go to milling stock. You also notice that this is set up for BWT underscore uh, DWC mill. Um, that should be, that's your post processor for our machine. Right click, hit edit, and you can put it in select and then find that file right there okay but it comes up as default once you start doing that uh, right click and mill three axis we're going to do the V carve go next we're going to select a geometry we're going to select onto that text right click OK next rapid plane is going to be at the hundred thousand uh, above the top of the board. The top of the board is going to be zero. I'm going to go next. Here's where we're going to set up the tool. Um, 60 degree. Now I have one set up in here. Uh, it's a 60 degree large. We're going to just go in the 60 degree. If you have not set up the tool for your for your specific to, uh, bit, you click add. This one we're going to click modify. It's going to bring up the same parameters as add, but I'm going to show you how to put this in. I've already set it up. Set in your diameter, quarter inch, your angle, 60 degrees. Uh, flute length doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, let's see. what. Um, I think that's all there. What we also want to do is say manual feed. 
this is uh, if we do a system it will go off the system depending upon what material you have over here but we're going to put it in manual this way I can type in here 25 inches a minute for for a cutting and Z um, so that that comes in automatically and then if I highlight that hit OK that brings in all these parameters here for our feed rate so all that will be fine we hit next we have a pocketing option this is if your narrow text like what we have here will work fine but if these lines let me move this screen over a little bit say these lines on this L right here was too wide that V cutter will keep going down into your wood until it comes to a point so you may have to use a what they call pocketing parameters and that's where it would only go like what it says here quarter inch deep and then it tells you the V tool step over is a hundred thousandths now it's going to make line segments in here so you could use a end mill something like that uh, that would pocket out a flat bottom um, around um, would be important when you change those bits to get them at the same location we'll do a V cutter we can also set how deep this cutter is if if this from this tip to up here is 3 sixteenths we'd put in 0.90 okay um, and then uh, uh, roughing step over is 100,000 so we're going to go next that's it so we hit finish and you go over and you click compute tool path it takes it just a second and you see all the green lines if we hit control and right mouse button it shows you a little bit scroll in see how the the depth to them there is depth to it so it's going to give you that appearance if you want to always look at the front of it you just go up and hit that this will get it right in the center okay from there you're done with the text we're going to go over here to milling tool tools if you haven't changed the current settings where your extension is dot capital G capital C this is the location to do it you just simply in the machine change it to dot GC hit OK and that should come up uh, from there on and then I'm sorry let me go back and do that again you want to do post and save as and then find a, a folder that you want to put it in I have a customer code folder and we're going to say welcome and if you want to see if it generated you can kind of have a view of it over here in this screen but that will not allow you to edit you'll have to edit in another program and then you're going to wherever you put that folder or file that G code folder is what you're going to put into mock mock uh, 3 and run it one thing that you're going to do is in mock 3 you're going to clamp in your square rectangle board and at the lower left hand corner right here is where you're going to bring that bit down and you're going to click zero and you're going to zero out your axis on top of that board right here at this point and that way your carving is going to be in the upper right hand coordinates over here okay